Hello everyone, this is John McNaughton and I'm doing another sketch today. It's April 4th, 2020 and I thought I'd do something different. I'm gonna do a picture of Melania Trump uh, instead of President Trump. I, I, I've been wanting to do one for a long time and and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and and spend some time on this. Uh, I have to be kind of gentle as I as I draw this picture of her you know when you're doing a, a female you can't be quite as rough with the sketch as you can with the male because you want there to be softer features so I'm I'm going going ahead and, and placing in the uh, the measurements of her nose and her eyes and, you know she's uh, from uh, Yugoslavia uh, Slovenia area and they have a very distinct look about them, you know, the women there, their eyes, um, you know, are a little bit tilted, and, uh, you know, a lot of very beautiful women come from that part of the world, and Melania is really a remarkable first lady. Uh, it's really kind of exciting for me to draw her. I've, I've wanted to do a painting of her, and I hope to be able to get to that this year sometime, but I can start with some kind of a sketch. So I'm doing one of her smiling, and of course it looks kind of strange at this stage because there's no shading and the eyes are kind of vacant. But, you know, I'm very impressed with this woman. You know, she, she's a very intelligent person. Um, she speaks, as they say, like five languages. Um, I speak two languages, and the second one not very well. English, yeah, I can do that, but... My Japanese is a little rusty. Uh, I, I do speak a little Japanese. Yoroshiku on the guy shimas. And um, it seems like that might be one of the languages that Melania speaks a little bit. I can't remember. But um, anyway, she uh, she came to America, I guess, back in '96, and married Pres uh, Donald Trump. Uh, in 2005 she has one child with him Baron and uh, she seems to really have her act together she's very uh, very devoted to her family to her son and uh, I'm just really impressed with Melania and how she's handled the criticism that just just is dumped on her almost daily simply because people don't like her husband and you know, she's probably, in my opinion, the most graceful first lady that we've ever had in the White House, even more so than Jackie Kennedy, in my opinion. And Jackie was, was pretty amazing. But, uh, of course, she, she was a, uh, a supermodel before uh, she married President Trump. And, and uh, you know, just a, a very beautiful and intelligent woman. And I think that she's done a good job of, of keeping her grace during all the, 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 the terrible slandering of her family since she's been uh, the first lady in the White House. So it'll be interesting to see how things go in the future. Uh, I, I, I think that, that Melania um, often holds back her feelings. Uh, I think that she knows that if she gets a little bit too much out in the public that uh, it might be a little bit uh, difficult for her maybe to to hold back. The other thing that, that I think is interesting about Melania is, is there's so many amazing pictures of her in the different gowns and, and things that she's worn at public events and yet all the fashion magazines won't touch her with a 10-foot pole. It's like she's kryptonite or something. And I think that they're going to regret that someday because they're going to realize that this woman was remarkable and they had their opportunity. But um, I don't know. Maybe it's because that industry is so saturated with liberals and, and Democrats and you know the, the, the partisanship and the hatred towards Trump. They're worried that maybe it'll hurt their viewership. I do not know, but I think it's kind of silly. So, kind of changing gears for a second. Uh, you can see I'm I'm starting to get her look here, and 
and filling it in. I wanted to get her smiling and, and you know, kind of that more casual uh, look that she has. When she's not smiling, she has a very, like, model look, whereas here she feels more approachable. So I wanted it to have that feel. And once I get her hair in there, it'll really start coming together. But switching gears slightly, uh, this coronavirus is just really eaten up the country. I, I, I can't even believe the way it's affected uh, the job market and the economy and so many things. It's, it's kind of frightful. Um, right now, at last I checked, about 300,000 Americans uh, have tested positive for the COVID-19. And there's been uh, about 8,200 deaths in the country which is a significant number. I mean, that's, uh, you know, almost three times the death toll of 9-11. That is not a small number. And they say that the number could be 150, 250,000 deaths by the time this is over, which is so tragic. I think that Trump has done a great job of doing the best he can to control this and to, uh, to do everything he can to bring together the best people that know how to deal with the pandemic. Uh, you know, he was given a lot of slack, uh, a lot of, well, I should not slack, but um, he was given a lot of uh, criticism towards the beginning of this that he didn't do enough, which is, of course, ridiculous because he did start shutting down, you know, transportation between air flights between China and the U.S. and, and then then, the, then Europe. Um, but this really caught us off guard, which is a shame. I mean, who can imagine that, that something this big would hit America when we were at the height of our economic uh, prosperity? But I believe in my heart that as this uh, a vaccine or something comes out that might curb the death the mortality rates that that America is just gonna gonna come right back because there's so many so many good things that we have going on here so that's my hope and we'll see what happens uh, it's, it's gonna be a long summer uh, you know a couple days ago I read something about how uh, the University of Pittsburgh uh, that their laboratories there had claimed that they have a vaccine that will take care of the COVID-19. And when I heard that, I was ecstatic. I hope it's true. Apparently, the FDA is looking at it right now, uh, you know, to get it passed through as quickly as possible. And apparently, they had been working on the SARS and the MERS uh, virus, and so they had a head start since this is a, a very similar virus to that. That's exciting news. And Boy, I tell you, if we can get that, uh, get some kind of a vaccine going, that will just make everybody's life so much easier. Everybody can get back to work. It'll be fantastic. I'm sure that's what the president is praying for and his people are working towards. And let's, uh, let's hope that happens. Okay, I'm starting to put in a lot of the shading on her hair and trying to fill that in. This is where I can loosen up some more. Um, she has kind of a soft looking hairstyle. So I'm working those shapes, and uh, that's coming along just fine. Um, one of the things that's always fascinated me is the relationship between uh, Donald Trump and Melania. She seems very devoted to her husband. She doesn't always agree with everything that he does. He, you know, everybody knows that Donald is very kind of a crass person. You know, he, he says what he thinks, and he doesn't hold back. Uh, he uses Twitter all the time to express those feelings. And if somebody goes after him and attacks him, he attacks right back. And he's ruthless. And Melania is a very gentle type of person, is my perception. And, and she doesn't always agree. And she's made that public that she doesn't always agree with the way he's handled things. But she supports him. And she says he's his own man. And, uh, you know... She's not going to try to change him. He's going to be who he is. But the thing about President Trump is we could not have him any other way. 
and I don't know if he could be as successful in fighting against the deep state and the establishment in Washington if it had not been for the kind of person that he is. And so Melania, I believe, is the perfect first lady to be with President Trump at this time in our country's history. The, the support that she gives him, the grace that she brings the White House, She's really a, a, a lovely person from what I can tell, and uh, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for her, for the president, uh, for all the Americans that voted for him. I mean, he's turned out to be a fantastic president, and I'm just very pleased. You know, I've mentioned before that, that when I first voted for him in 2016, I was hopeful, hopeful that he would do everything he said he would do, and I've been pleasantly uh, satisfied with what he has done uh, as president and I think that Melania has been a great first lady uh, I really enjoy enjoy uh, you know when they're together and how they they talk and um, you know she has a, a an accent and uh, you know when I first heard it you know it was easy to kind of judge and to say oh you know I don't know if she knows what's going on but I've come to realize that that she's very much aware of what's happening and um, you know you can't judge anybody by their accent I mean this woman is is very intelligent very smart so I, uh, I found a, a cool quote that I thought would go well for Melania and it kind of describes her role and uh, it's very direct says, uh, I am a mother, a daughter, a wife, and the first lady of the United States. I thought that was kind of cool. That's Melania Trump. So thank you, Mrs. First Lady, for everything you do. And I hope you've enjoyed this sketch. And next week, I'll surprise you with something different. Thanks, and have a wonderful day. Keep safe, America, uh, and go Trump. I'm excited about this year. He's going to be reelected, and it's all fantastic. Goodbye. Oh, and uh, be sure, if you want to get one of these sketches, they'll probably sell out today or, or pretty soon. They don't last very long. You can go to my website and check it out. Okay, thank you.